Hello, hello, hello. I thought this was going to be a, just an, another tutorial on a different style zipper bag. I ditch, I even started the video. I'm ditching all that because I want to show you how to do something that I get a lot of joy out of. Now, most of the time when we put together a, a bag, we use one type of material. You know, we, we, we pick our material and we cut the shape size out that we need. But sometimes I have a lot of fun and, and I, I don't like to call it quilting because it sounds like, you know, I'm, go, I'm a, a, the type of grandmother to sit in a rocking chair. But I call it piecing for decoration. I call this my decorative way of sewing, okay? This is my art. I want to show you how I think through these art pieces and what you have to do because <clears throat> I'm going to make a zipper pouch and the outside of the lining I want to be square 10 by 10. In order to get I could just cut my material out and make it 10 by 10. This happens to be um, not the right length. This was seven by 10, because I cut something off of it. But anyway, I stopped. Oh, that's what it was. I stopped and I thought, this would be an opportunity to show you how to piece things. Now, if I wanted to piece things, I need to figure out how wide each piece was going to be. They have to add up to 10 across and you have to account for a quarter inch seam allowance. So you wouldn't want to just add, make them add up to 10. You need to make them add up. Let's see. I'm going to have, <clears throat> I'm going to show you this way. I'm going to have um, one strip in the middle. Okay. And I'm just going to show you how my plan. I'm not telling. So the strip in the middle, in order to get that middle, we've got to take a fourth inch off of this one and a fourth inch off of that. So there's a half inch right there. When you would come over here, the same thing has to happen. We have to take a fourth inch off of this. So, if I want 10 inches, I have to make these total up to 11. All I did was kind of roughly make them about the same size, and, and, and I was deciding that one of them had to be smaller. So these two are going to be three and a half inches, and this one's going to be three inches because I don't want it to be the dominant. I want this to be dominant, okay? Um, so we have the pieces. Now we have to piece them together, but I haven't cut my, my, I haven't cut my yellow. The re, it, this, these are already lined. I would not have done this ahead of time if I knew I was going to do what I'm about to do now and I'll show you why I wouldn't have done it. But we're gonna go on with it anyway. Uh, I need my, I got this out of my way, and I need my roller, rotary cutter, calling a rotary cutter, calling all rotary cutters. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad he wasn't. Mechanic, I mean, a, on a motor, they could have come at me. Let's see. Also, I have to have it 10, 10 inches long, and this is piece is already 10 inches tall, so I've got to make this three inches. 
let me double check. <laughs> yeah, three inches, okay. Right here and here and lined up just perfectly. I'm gonna come over. I feel like I'm missing a light. Okay, here we go. I almost have cabin fever, people. We haven't been snowed in, but it's been too cold <laughs> to venture out. Since I'm gonna have it front and back, and I've already cut these off, I'm, I'm going to go oh, and look, see? It's already when I cut, oh, this, this is what I cut. Okay, here, I gotta cut three inches off of this one. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that extra piece, but I hate to be wasting this material because it is absolutely beautiful. So, the important thing that I wanted to teach you in this video was that when you're putting your, adding up your inches, remember that you have to have a fourth of an inch for each side. Don't worry about the outside because on these, don't worry about this because we've already figured our quarter inch seam allowance on that. And the top and bottom has been figured. So everything's the same. So I'm going to, I'm going to construct two of these. Okay. There we go. Now, when you piece things like this together, of course, I think you know that you lay top side, right sides together and you sew. Of course, once that's done, so I'm going to take all three pieces, and you want to make sure that you keep your cat faces pointing the same way. Make sure that these are lined up. You know, if you want to, if you're not exactly confident of your ability to keep things lined up, you can pin it, but I have found that for things like this, pinning actually causes the material to buckle in, in ways that are not necessarily appropriate. I'm going to, I have my walking foot on, I probably don't need it for this, but I like it. I really like the professional look the walking foot gives your stitches. Nobody's going to see the stitch, okay. I'm arguing with myself. Here we go. Let's quit arguing and let's get to sewing. Well, you're not going to see these stitches. Don't argue with me. What was that? I'm going to get a fourth of an inch. Oh my goodness. All right, uh, something scared me, but I'm okay now. I wasn't even surprised that it was the bar bob and not being threaded correctly because I actually took my machine all the way in to the repair shop and they looked at it and they said oh you got you you didn't do you know you didn't do this whatever the term is all right making sure my kitty cats are both standing out in the right direction I'm gonna lay this one on the other side. Okay, here we go.
here's where I tell you why I wish I had not put the backing. See, <clears throat> at this point, we would be spreading this um, diff, really stiff, <laughs> spreading this material, the seam, just like this. Okay, I would be spreading this seam like this, and then we would lay the backing over it. I mean, I would I would iron this, and then we'd lay the backing over it, and you wouldn't even really see it. It would be all flattened. But now it's like I didn't do it. So, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to take it over there and, and iron it. And this is how we're going to do our panels, okay? I gotta do the other side. That That is it for this segment because I, um, I wanted to make this a standalone, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make this a standalone, but I'm gonna come right back with the, uh, the rest of it, okay? Hold on. I mean, don't hold on. Like and subscribe. That's what I need you to do. And remember, keep the commandments and be the bride. I love you.